Hi, and welcome back. In this video on neural networks in TensorFlow.js, we'll understand what is TensorFlow.js and look at the sum of the fundamentals of TensorFlow.js. TensorFlow.js is a JavaScript library. Using TensorFlow.js, we can add machine learning capabilities to any web application. We can build and train models in the browser as well as build and train models in a Node.js server. TensorFlow.js has a lot of capabilities for neural networks and it is supported by Google as well. Let's see some of the fundamentals of TensorFlow.js. Some of the fundamentals are tensors, operations and models or layers. Tensor is the data unit inside TensorFlow.js. So the data set is usually represented in the form of a tensor. A tensor is an n-dimensional vector. A tensor can be used to represent n-dimensional data set. So if you want to represent a data of dimension 4, we can have a tensor like this. Or if you want to represent a data of dimension 4 cross 3, we have a tensor like this. And similarly, if we want to create a tensor of dimension 2 cross 3 cross 3, we can have a tensor like this by defining it like this. Operations are used to manipulate data of a tensor. Each time we make use of an operation, a new tensor is created. Operations include square, addition, subtraction and multiplication. Another important concept in TensorFlow.js is that of models or layers. In TensorFlow.js, model is the buildup of one or more layers. We can use and combine different types of layers while creating a model. Now let's see a sample code to understand TensorFlow.js better. Here I have opened my folder section 6 underscore 3 where I have my files index.html and index.js. My index.html is pretty straightforward with HTML and body tag, one container tag, and one script tag referencing my index.js file. Inside index.js, I import tensorflow.js, then I create something called as a sequential model. A feed forward neural network is an example of a sequential model. We add a single layer to the sequential model by using tf.layers.dense, meaning a fully connected neural network layer. Since the number of units is 1 and the input shape is also 1 and there is only one layer, this can also represent a linear regression model. Next, we compile the model by passing it the loss function as mean squared error and the optimizer as stochastic gradient descent. We then supply it with the input as height and weight using tf.tensor2d. Next, we use model.fit to train the model for 500 iterations and once that is done, we print out our predictions. Now let's see what the output looks like on the console. To run my code, I do parcel index.html which launches my server. I navigate to this page and open the console. At the console, we have the output 76.40, which is the desired output. In this video, we learned about TensorFlow.js. In the next video, a multi-class classification using TensorFlow.js, we'll be using TensorFlow.js to build a multi-class classifier. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.